My name is Rebecca Davis. I'm a soprano, one of many. <laughs> I play Violetta Valerie, and um, she's the courtesan, and um, very fun role to play. It's it's nice to have all these boys' attention in the act one on stage. <laughs> it's very flattering. Each time I start act one, I have to put myself in, into the place of where she is as a courtesan. She's not thinking about love, she's thinking about having a great life, throwing great parties, being competitive with other courtesans. I'm Ryan McPherson, I uh, grew up in Kansas City, uh, now I live in, in New York, in Brooklyn, and um, playing Alfredo in La Traviata, a uh, great show. One of the dream roles for tenors. So he, uh, um, he comes in to a party and has, has kind of had his eye on this courtesan for a while, even when she was sick in a previous pre-opera time period. And uh, he comes in, finally meets her. She's impressed by this little, I think it puts a little spark in her that oh, this man cares this much about me. And then uh, she gives him a chance and they fall in love, move to the country. And then my father, the guy who plays my father, or, you know, Jermall, comes back and says, yeah, I don't think so. I'm the father of Alfredo. Uh, Alfredo has um, fallen in love with this courtesan, Violetta. And the problem is, is that it casts aspersions on the entire family. And I have another daughter who is trying to get married and her fiance is threatening to break off the engagement unless my son comes around. And so I have to go out and rein him in and say, come back to the family, leave this tawdry life that you've, that you've started and um, become honorable again. So I basically am the moral hammer in the piece, basically. Of course, the whole opera she's battling with tuberculosis, so it's like the last day, and they they, they have to say goodbye. But she, there's hope for her for a second, but then she realizes really that her time has come, and she dies. So. There's probably one, of, it's one of the toughest arias, I think, in the soprano repertoire, which is Estrano Sempre Libera, and it comes at the end of Act One. So you've already done this big party thing, and it's very energetic, and then all of a sudden you have to be, come to this reflection time and move through the reflection. But then at the end, she declares that she's always going to be a, a free person. She's going to be free, she's going to be herself, and there's some fireworks with that. So that's the hardest part. Um, it's very exciting, I love to sing it, but definitely something I'm constantly working on. With, with good writing and, and uh, good libretto and good music comes a really great piece of music. So it, it's, uh, the travel, I mean, you just have to give yourself over to the music in that sense. So you go start out, you know, innocently, you fall in love with the person you're on stage with, and then you get your, your heart torn out, you know. It's, it's a hard day's work and at the end. It's, it's going through a full range of emotions every night. I've been fortunate in my life to, to experience that love, and so I bring a lot of myself into it. Um, and also have had to make hard choices too in concerning love, which you know a lot of us have had to do. So really, I bring a lot of myself into this role. The only part that I haven't done is die. This is Traviata. I mean, you have to, you have to, you have to love. I mean, it, it, it's just in, ingrained in us that I mean, and it's true because the minute you start opening your mouth and you 
you sing to that person, you stare at them in the eyes while they're, you know, dying, it, um, it really affects you. You know, you do a show and end up with, you know, a pool of tears on, on, on the floor after, you know, when the curtain comes down and come, you know, take your bow. It's one of the best things. And people clap at the end of the day. Thanks.